Okay, welcome back to another episode of uh, Cooking with Mr. Dan. Now, yesterday I made my tzatziki sauce from my chicken slovaki. That's a Greek uh, chicken on a basically chicken on a skewer, but uh, that's what that slovaki means uh, meat on a stick. So, anyway, what we're going to do now is I'm going to get the marinade ready and we're going to soak the pieces for. Uh, maybe an hour to one or two hours. I think we'll do it about two. And then we're going to skewer them up and put them on the grill. And you guys are going to like it. All right. Okay, so you see I got my skewers already. I just washed them up. Back there is my knife sharpener or honer, and then I got the plastic bag in front of it. There's a knife. There's chicken breasts, about a pound and a half. I sliced them, cut the breast in three sections, and then I cubed them up. As you can see, they're cubed up, see, like, like that. So when you put them on the skewer, you're going to have a nice little bite. Okay, so our ingredients for this here marinade, there's my garlic right there. And we have a quarter cup of uh, olive oil. Let me just turn that around. Extra virgin, Pompeian, that's my favorite kind right now. We got some rosemary, about a teaspoon of that. Half a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of uh, oregano, and two tablespoons of uh, lemon juice. Okay, hold on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we got the plastic bag. Okay, let me move this back. Uh, what we're going to do, real quick and easy, simple stuff here. I'm going to put my garlic in first. You know me, I like to make sure I'm making sure I don't forget that. I love my garlic. That's going. And I wonder if I should have minced it a little more. I don't know. It, it'll be fine. I like garlic. So then we're going to put in the olive oil. Get all the good the goodness out of that. That's going to give it a little peppery flavor. You get, like I said the other day, you get good olive oil. Just going my rosemary. Okay. Then goes my salt. Oregano, oregano, <laughs> and then lemon juice. The lemon juice is going to help break down the chicken a little bit. That's what it does. I should say that's what it gets paid to do, huh? Yeah. So what I'm doing is just mixing this up a little in the bag. We want to make sure all the meat gets coated with it. This is almost similar to like when you're making uh, jerky. You know, you put it all in the bag and everything, mix all your stuff together and throw your meat in. Then you let it sit for usually overnight. But anyway, I don't want this to sit that long because it, it, that lemon juice is really going to break down the, the meat. <coughs> so, we're just plopping the meat in there. And this is how quick this is. It's so easy. And, you know, this, uh, I had this in Germany at uh, a place called Elios, uh, right down the hill. But anyway, it's, uh, I never had it before then, but I had it a bunch since then. Matter of fact, I think me and Penny got some of this when we first came here. We was down Tarpon Springs, and we had some. But, uh, it, but it basically, uh, this here, they sell a lot of street vendors sell this in uh, different countries overseas, like in you know European kind of countries, because the, everybody's melded together over there. But yeah, it's a Greek dish, but... So we're just going to mix all this together. And uh, that's going to be you guys are going to love it, because we made that, that tzatziki sauce. That's another one, the homemade, you know, if you guys ever had a gyro, that's usually what you put on it, on the gyro. So now what we're going to do is we want to kind of expel as much of the air as possible out of here. And I usually just take it and roll it. And then we're going to just keep that rolled up like that. 
pop it in the dish, and it's going in the refrigerator for about two hours. So uh, we'll see you when we get back, eh? Okay. So we uh, in two hours, and we got our chicken nice and marinated. It's all fat and happy in there. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's going to make a mess. But at any rate, what we're going to do, I'm going to dump this in the, into the bowl. makes it easier for me. All right, that smell good. All right. So now we're going to take our little skewers and we're just going to skew up the meat as it were. Trying to get this, I forgot to take the tip off of that one. Now you can stick it any which way you like. I got the uh, these flat sided skewers so that the meat doesn't spin around when you're trying to cook it. And if you get a long piece, something like this, then you can skewer it like this, see? <laughs> I'm only going to put a few on each one. Uh, see, while you guys were taking a nap for that two hours, I was steadily busy in the kitchen. <laughs> I got me some, uh, made me some cauliflower rice to go with this. We're going to have it, you know, you can have this any which way you want. You want to put it on a pita, uh, you can put it on a, a wrap. We're going to just put this on a dish tonight with some uh, tomato and some cucumber and some cauliflower rice, which I don't think that's a traditional thing there. But, uh, but usually, you, can do, you know, they serve it with vegetables a lot of times. But it's going to be good. Uh, and you guys are going to love it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm going to take this. We're going to put it on the grill. Now, you can also do it in the oven under the broiler, uh, but I don't want to make a mess out of the, the oven, so we're going for the going for the big stuff, putting it out on the grill, huh? <laughs> All right. So this one here being a little difficult, so we're going to play a little game here. But it's, it's, uh, it's nice. It's fun. You know, this is something that you can get together with the family. You can make, you know, different kinds of this kebab stuff or Slovakia. You can do pork. You can do chicken. You can do lamb. And, you know, you let the, the kids get in on it. Let them skewer their own. Whoever comes to the party, let them do their own. You know, it's that way you don't do all the work and they have a little fun. Because everybody likes to have fun like this, right? Get your hands all gooey like this. Yeah. That's my little camera girl. She can't wait to get over here and do this. <laughs> yep. But we're getting there. Put one more piece on here. And then we're out to the grill. We'll be out to the griddle. All right. That's not bad. It's a nice, nice number of uh, skewers we got out of this. Remember, it's called Chicken Slovakia, and I'm homemade tzatziki sauce is in the refrigerator doing its thing. It's marinating or melding together since yesterday. Uh, but that you can use on anything you want also. That's, uh, that's another thing with that. It's a nice little, you can use it as a dipping sauce for other things. Okay, we're almost there. <laughs> This one's going to, I think this will be mine. It's got the most pieces on it, don't you think? Don't you think that, that the little chef guy should get the most, huh? Right, come over here. You will put you, let's, let's get you on here. Come on. Oh. This, I'll tell you, this chicken smells outstanding. Oh. It's almost like you died and went to chicken heaven. I don't know if they got one of those, but it's what it smells like to me. Okay, so there you have it. You guys know I cook chicken a lot. Now, this is another variation, so 
That's what I'm trying to do, change things up. Let me wash my hands off. Okay, we're about here out the grill. You see I got the cooking mat on there because I like that. We're just going to pop these buddies just like that on the cooking mat. See? Even this piece to try to get away. Huh? I'll stick that somewhere. I'm going to cook these a few minutes on each side. We'll come back and check it. I'm going to put this over here. Get this piece of chicken here that came off. Stick it back on there. We don't want to waste nobody, huh? Okay, so there you go. That's set. how easy it is. And uh, we'll come back in a few minutes after the chicken's cooked on this side. We'll flip it over, see how that looks, and let the other side cook, and then we're ready to eat. All right. Okay, we're up to the grill again. Oh, boy, look at these puppies sizzling away. And we got to pick them up. Watch, they're looking to be hot. God dang, that's hot. Oh yeah, <laughs> these puppies are looking good. Don't you guys just love the way that looks? All right, a few more minutes, we'll check them again. Okay, I was gonna show you me taking it off the grill, but uh, it's raining outside, so I just scooped them up and brought them in. Now that's what we have on the skewer. I'm going to take some of those off. And like I said, I have some tomato, cucumber, and cauliflower rice over there. And this here is the homemade tzatziki sauce that's going to go with all this stuff. Yummy. Okay, so we're at the taste test table. The whole fam damley's here. Uh, got my tzatziki sauce, my chicken, my cauliflower Riced cauliflower, got some tomato and some cucumber. And they usually serve it with lettuce also, and sometimes some celery stalks. But, uh, I mean, this ain't 100% authentic, but it's pretty close. Mm. Now, this tzatziki sauce, when you make it, I did a video yesterday for it, but very quick and easy. The main ingredient is Greek yogurt. But, however, you can use it on anything. Some nice little dipping sauce. Main ingredient is that and, and cucumber. But anyway, there it goes. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. The tenderness, the spices, man, you can't beat this. Mmm. <laughs> I like the dipping sauce, huh? Anyway, let me go taste the mine. I put the cauliflower with rice in there because I'm trying to make it a little healthy. We want to you want to bulk it up with something. Mm. I, I put some salt and pepper in there with some hot flakes. Mm. Okay, guys, this is delicious. I don't want to spoil me dinner. <laughs> So, without further ado, let's spread the news. When you're out and about, cover up, wash your hands a lot, don't talk with your mouth full, give us a like for the video, and if you haven't shared with your friends, do that, and if you haven't yet liked, I mean, haven't yet subscribed, or hit the notification bell, do so. If you have, leave it alone. <laughs> Um, the description for everything will be down in the description box, the ingredients and how to do it. This does not take long at all. So it's another good dish. I hope you guys try it. So until next time, this is Mr. Dan, one more bite. I'm going to start calling myself one man, one, 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 bang, one bite man. <laughs> okay, this is Mr. Dan. <clears throat> this is good. Stay hungry, my friends. And when you all come back, and we'll give you another recipe. This is Mr. Dan. We're out.